Well, that day certainly got away from us. I was thirsty. We ah. made fun of other people for doing that. It really perks up out here in the evening. That's really good. This is better than the tacos, huh? For a little adventure. And hopefully we're gonna get to see... Flamingos! <laughs> Who's gonna take that? Of course he stops making sound as soon as I turn on the camera. Kinda of makes us rethink going through those uh, knee-deep marshes we were just going through. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Well, that day certainly got away from us. We just went down for a short walk on the beach and a little swim like we normally do. We didn't take anything with us. And over an hour later, we ended up in Cocoa Beach, which is quite beautiful, but it's a long ways away. <laughs> We didn't have any water. We didn't take anything. We didn't even have, we didn't take our bag. We took nothing, no camera. We had a wonderful time, but uh, I was thirsty. Yeah, I was thirsty <laughs> coming back. We make fun of other people for doing that, and then we wind off. And it's a hundred degrees outside. It's only supposed to be a short walk, just going into the water and cooling off. <laughs> but we made it. Now we're gonna get some dinner and drink some more water. Lots of lots of water. Cocoa Beach was cool. Um, I wouldn't pay to go to it, but oh, no. it was really neat. And there's like flamingos down there. We'll try to get down there and see them later this week. But... A similar plan a lot. You may be able to take the bag in the water. Right. Time for dinner. Okay. perks up out here in the evening. This is really cool. Down at the little square, everything's going on downtown. There's little vendors and everything set up. Great little street food carts finally, so we'll go check those out. Had a great little soccer game going on for football. I'm just gonna watch what all she puts on that. She said that's the special taco. I might have to get one of those. Or two. <laughs> Maybe three. So far we got ham, cheese. Yep, definitely have to order one of those. We got a slice of ham and then it's fried upside down. Well, maybe two. And we put a bunch of other stuff on top too. I do also see some avocado and crema on top of there. And now there's more stuff. The ham and the cheese and the meat together, all of it, that's really good. And very hot. <laughs> See a little cart like this, food's always good. I'm gonna try a tamale. The pollo, por favor. That is a tamale with chicken. That tamale is really good. It has a little bit of heat with the sauce on it. Actually, this is better than the tacos. I come back here. They're wrapped in banana leaves. The Yucatecan style tends to have banana leaves instead of uh, corn husks. Um, I, don't, I like them better. I love the old style tamales, the classic style tamale with corn husk, but these ones, yeah, it's special. Love, love the local street vendors. They're the best. They blow chain restaurants out of the water. I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna get some fruit. Off for a little adventure. For this, we're gonna need a lot of water. Oops. Well, you may remember, of course you remember, it was probably like 30 seconds ago on the video. The little beach that we ended up walking to by mistake the other day, well, we're gonna go there on purpose today. And it is a bit of a hike. So we have water and snacks and sunblock and towels and our bag and all of the responsible things that we would normally take on a long trek. And hopefully we're gonna get to see... Flamingos. We'll see. No, 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 not yet. Off we go. <laughs> That must be why there's a little Cessna flying over our place all the time. Ah, there he is. And I don't really know if it's a Cessna because I don't know plane models, but it's a small plane. So there you go. Two roads diverged in the woods. We're not being cliche. And I took the road less traveled. We are in reality taking the road less traveled because this is the walking one and the other one has more cars on it. 
It's not adventure if it's not adventurous. Mud puddles are adventure. It hurt, man! Really bad. Rocks, thorns, and glass. The scrapes. Not cool, Robert Frost. We just climbed along that. There's a path right there. <laughs> Who's gonna take that? Not us, we're really adventurous. <laughs> well, that's not where we're going, but it does look cool. Even more adventure. Osprey on the line and the nest is over there. Of course he stops making sound as soon as I turn on the camera. Katie's identified that that's the baby hollering and mama's over there saying, you better learn to fly. This is my type of adventure. Climbing, going over water, animals, dirt. Can't get better than this. This feels really good after a long walk. If you want to, you can rent a cabana out here, but we're going down and crossing over, like cutting through the water, to see if we can get over to where the flamingos are. It is so peaceful and nice here. There's not a lot of loud noises and golf carts and everything. That's what we're looking for. I am betting him that we will be swimming. And he thinks we will not be swimming. We just gotta wait across that to clarify the bet. If both of us have to swim, then I lose. Yes. I always have to swim. I'm taller than her. <laughs> you might not have noticed. I'm off my shorts. <laughs> so far, so good. This can't be much farther. So the guy is swimming to the boat in the middle of the lake. So far walking across here, we've scared up a pretty good sized barracuda and then a good sized stingray. I was shuffling my feet, thankfully, and just before I got to him, he scampered off, scared the crap out of me. Thankfully, we're in water. Hey, we're almost there. And another big old stingray. But thankfully, we're doing good. We haven't stepped on any of them yet. I'm losing. What do you mean? There's still so far to go. I tried to get him to go over there in the nice, pretty, dark blue water, but he won't do it. It's taking longer to get the last 100 meters than it did to get the whole rest of the way. Trying to pick our way through this little path of deep holes. I lost. Got up to here. Get there. Look at these horseshoe crabs right here on the shore. That buzzer is just falling around on top of us, and I know we showered. Maybe he knows something we don't. Well, there's lots of cactus, so we're able... right now we're in trouble if we're in the western. <laughs> no idea what you meant, but I'm just gonna say <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Comorans. Well, this makes our trip a lot more adventurous. <laughs> Caution: American crocodiles are protected, and this is their habitat. Hmm. We're not going to be trekking through this very much. That makes us rethink going through those uh, knee-deep marshes we were just going through. One of the really cool things about trekking off on our own and getting away from where all the people are is that we get to see a bunch of animals and stuff that uh, might have been scared off otherwise. The downside of that is that some of the animals that we wish would have been scared off are still right there. So we got to be a little more careful. We're just trying to get out. That's gonna hurt. Well, we went to the end of the trail. We didn't find any flamingos. But it was such a fun adventure. I don't mind. It was awesome. We did see it. We saw a big catfish swimming around in the ocean. You see all sorts of cool stuff in brackish water around the mangroves. We have tons of different animals. And no crocs. Probably Thank goodness. For, probably <laughs> fortunately, but it would have been cool as long as they were a little ways away. Now we're beginning our trek back. Ooh, adventure. Look at that. What is that? I'm just getting brutalized by flies and mosquitoes right now. Watch for crocs. Oh, look at that guy. He's not that worried about us. I ain't gonna lie. 
These mosquitoes are vicious. That's where the flies. I realize how lucky I am. How few partners would be willing to just take off and head off into the jungle with basically no plan. <laughs> and just some water and some peanuts and a little plastic bag to just go explore. And walk through all this mud and bare feet. <laughs> Theoretically dodging crocs. <laughs> So they're not like the Crocs in Australia. These are just little guys, but I think they still mess you up if you stepped on them. Very grateful for you. I'm very grateful. What a cool little island. Whole bush is pretty neat. We'll do a full review later, but it's all right. Ah, I see the ocean. We're hitting the right direction. <laughs> We're on an island. The ocean's in every direction. Well, true, but it might take us a little longer if we were snake it. We're hiking along the beach the way we took the other day. Adventure's not over, but we're definitely on the down slope. Also, all along the beach in Holbosch, there's old buildings and stuff that got wiped out by hurricanes or whatever that they painted murals on. It's actually a really charming beach. Not the best beach in the world, but it's charming. I really like the murals. Can't say I'd come here for the beach. Fixer upper. That's not a mural, that's just graffiti. So is that. Club El Valero is really cute, but the beach is lacking. And this is the stretch of the beach that our hostel is on. We're right up here. Time for a shower and a nap. What's that you say? That is the super moon, the super pink moon. We are enjoying our last day on the beaches of Holbosch. It has been a lot of fun from Exploring the other side of the island to the hermit crab. No, horseshoe crabs. Horseshoe crabs. Horseshoe crabs. That was spectacular. The water is more Gulf Coast, coast water with it being really flat, but it's not very deep. And the sand is more like mud sand. But it's been, it's been a fun time here. Really wish we would have had a chance to visit here a couple years ago. Uh, from talking to people here and other people we know, it's, it's changed rapidly over the last few years. Definitely been discovered. Uh, it's on the, not so much the digital nomad scene because the Wi-Fi on the island is really bad. The restaurants are more on the high hipster end. There's very few options for the local street food that we want. And what we have found with local food is vastly more expensive than even Isla Mujeres, which is more expensive than most other places in the Yucatan. Up to double in a economic kitchen. So uh, that's something to consider before you come. Also, we probably would recommend spending two to three days max here. We spent a week just to take one for the team and see how it goes. We talked to a lot of people at the hostel and around the island and asked them what was the must-do thing here for them. Most of them said, watch the sunset. Uh, that's what this is kind of famous for in the backpacker scene, I guess, is watching the sunsets. There's also three island boat tours. But we walked most of the places that the boat tours go and I don't know if it's your thing, that's cool. They were just little mangrove islands. Didn't look much different actually than what you can walk to around in Hobo. So that, that we wouldn't do. Yeah. If you like to just go out and explore and go down a road and pretty much trek out in the middle of nowhere, this is the place for you. That was a lot of fun. That, that was, did. that was our best day. Oh, that was our best day. Nice little island. It's not on the must-see list. It might've been, you know, 10, 20 years ago, but Definitely a nice little trip. One downside to visiting is it is not cheap to get here either. You're gonna spend roughly $100 US per person round trip between buses, ferries, all that to get here and get back. So just keep that in mind. Surya, Surya. They just don't give a shit. Oh shit, look at that. Fucking mosquitoes, damn. Even just talking, to, well, that's really loud. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>